Hello there, I'm the Biz Manager and welcome back to Space Engineers. Now, today we should continue building our capital ship. After all, there is still plenty of uh, work to be done. Uh, however, we are going to uh, make a stop midway through the episode to uh, design our fighter vehicle. Uh, I just want to uh, get a move on on this capital ship. After all, we could get it uh, half space worthy. Uh, by the end of today's episode, I would not be uh, unpleased with that result. But for that, there is plenty of locks to uh, position. Now, the idea over here would be to... St like, uh, in this represents the uh, limit of the main uh, uh, body, shall we call it. And then, over here on the sides, we would create two small... Uh, uh, like a wing. Not exactly a wing, but like a, a separate uh, a row of blocks, shall we say, that should only be connected via con uh, to this conveyor junction right there and uh, another redundant, redundant connection over here, right? And in this uh, row of blocks we would put most of our uh, thrusters, the one dealing with uh, up, down and side movement. And then we would create uh, something similar over here on the front, so that we have uh, two uh, different engine clusters uh, to keep the ship kind of balanced. And from those uh, wings, we would then create a way... A willow. Let's try not to bang our head against, against the drills. We would create a way to put the uh, large hydrogen uh, engines somewhere around here, however, cleared from the deck uh, where the Hulk should be uh, landing. So that's a lot of uh, things just in the imagination, so how about we start putting some blocks down and uh, create something uh, a little bit more based in reality.
my friends, I think that thruster-wise uh, we are covered. And maybe we might have a few too many. Uh, counting a, the totality of uh, thrusters, we have over 90 thrusters. Because, yeah, each cluster of these is 15 thrusters, right? 5 plus 5 plus 5. We have 15, 30, uh, 45... 60 and then the other 30 over there equals 90 plus the big uh, thrusters on the back plus the ion thrusters that we have uh, scattered ar around the ship and that is not yet counting the uh, braking thrusters uh, I think I'm going to have enough thrusters to uh, land the capital ship on a planet and take off but uh, that's like th that if we are able to do that that's awesome uh, but that's not the purpose <laughs> I just think I went a little bit overboard, but uh, at the same time, we'll be carrying a lot of weight. We have to remember that uh, we are going to fill up uh, all of these crates, plus I'm going to build more crates. Uh, I left this space on purpose. We are going to have a lot of weight on us, so uh, having too many thrusters is never a bad idea. Now, my friends, I have the uh, enviable task of welding all of this, but uh, I have to start welding some stuff, especially the log logistics, uh, engines, and uh, whatnot. Not only do we want to make this space, wor space worthy, uh, the game is also not enjoying the uh, billion uh, frames all over the place. So, because of that, I have to weld what I have right now. Um, like I said, especially the logistics part. The rest, like the uh, structural frames, we don't have to worry too much about them. Uh, maybe just a few uh, in the center part, just to make sure that the uh, ship is structurally sound. But the rest, uh, they are merely temporary, so there is no point in welding them. Well, my friends, uh, I have to admit, it took me over one hour just to weld the um, conveyor junctions. And... Uh, Pretty much the spine of the vehicle, uh, like I said, I want to have at least the spine welded for structural integrity. Intre Sorry, structural integrity. And uh, yeah, that is taking a sweet, sweet time, but uh, you know, a big chunk of that time was uh, putting one block here, grinding one block there, to try and have like a... Um, a 2D uh, shape uh, to the ship. I am uh, closing in on the on the time of the project where having uh, something like this is going to be uh, very helpful once we start putting uh, walls and stuff like that. Uh, I kind of want to know where things are going to go, uh, otherwise I'm going to start building things where, that, where I should not be building it and then I'm going to end up with a big mess. Uh, of course, that I'm going to uh, smooth this a little bit more is just so I uh, kind of have an idea um, for things, right? Because, uh, you know, over here, for example, I want to have a small observatory room just so we can uh, look at the uh, look at the space, pretty much. Over here, we should have our medical room, and then we should have our cockpit uh, somewhere over in the back, uh, somewhere over here, and uh, all of this should be connected uh, with uh, catwalks. The idea being that we should have a catwalk connecting this level uh, to this level uh, via stairs over here and to the side and then have a catwalk that goes straight through the... Ouch, let's try not to do that. Through the middle of our production area so that we can access uh, everything back here and then we still have this room over here that uh, we need to fill up with more production either production or storage, whatever we feel like uh, adding in the future. Having uh, some extra space is never a bad idea uh, for expansion, so uh, that's why I haven't filled up uh, that space just yet. But uh, yeah, other than that, I still have a few more blocks to weld. After all, most of these are full blocks, and given that this is going to be our mobile base, I don't want to be skimping on uh, resources, even though it's going to take a little bit longer. Uh, but uh, if we get shot, I want to have the health to absorb the uh, damage so that uh, the enemy cannot access the inner areas and uh, explode everything. Okay, my friends. Skeleton-wise, I think I am done welding, at least for now. Jesus. Like, uh, from this pers perspective, it might not look like it, but uh, there is at least 25 more minutes of welding from the last time we spoke. 
and uh, other than uh, structural uh, structure, structure uh, there is uh, very few things to uh, note. One of them is, uh, of course, uh, the turrets that I am uh, placing over there. We are going to have two turrets on top of the hangar, two turrets underneath. I also added the two frontal turrets. This should give them a, a good line of sight. Um, hopefully, uh, they are not going to shoot. They are not going to shoot anything important. Uh, that's pretty much the idea. That's why they are pointing in this direction instead of, uh, um, you know, up or down. Uh, because this way, everything that it is important is uh, facing downwards, and they should not have a line of sight for that. And uh, over here, they should have the uh, floor blocking anything important. So these ones should also not shoot anything important, except maybe for the Hulk. But uh, we are going to pray that they don't shoot the Hulk. <sighs> I, ca I can imagine what <laughs> being in space one day uh, and uh, getting attacked and then just witnessing the uh, half of the crane just being lifted into space. But uh, oh well, that's something that we'll have to live with once the time comes. Now. Like I said, I want to make this thing uh, space-worthy, so uh, now I'm going to focus on welding the hydrogen engines. I still haven't found the uh, platinum to weld the uh, ion thrusters, because they require thruster components, a lot of them, as you can see, and those things require platinum. So, for a time, this uh, vehicle is going to be uh, moved only on hydrogen engines, but I'm pretty sure that we have more than enough to to accomplish that task, the ion thrusters are just so that we can do uh, maneuvers without using fuel uh, should we get into a situation where fuel is uh, short. But uh, with that said, I should get a move on and start welding these um, hydrogen thrusters after all. Uh, there is over 90 of them to be welded and that is going to take a little bit of time. Just to put into perspective how many uh, components we have, or how much welding I have to uh, do, just take a look at the list of components. Just This is the uh, 90 um, hydrogen thrusters uh, component list. Just, just, just take a look at this. Okay, it's like endless. There is no end in sight. Oh boy, I, I have a feeling that I am going to have to do uh, some more grinding for materials, but uh, fingers crossed that is not com gonna come into fruition. Hopefully we have more than enough materials on us, but uh, I suppose that uh, I'm about to find that out uh, once I start uh, welding all of this. Okay, first death of the project. <sighs> Being cooked alive by my own hydrogen thruster, who would have thought? Alright my friends, so the large thrusters have been welded and uh, we are one step closer to getting this thing space worthy. Now, for the location of our control tower, uh, I think that I'm going to put it somewhere around here, I'm still unsure, but uh, that's the next thing that we need to... Um, business shipment, okay, uh, that we need to uh, get done, otherwise uh, we are not going anywhere. Also, I cannot forget to put some braking thrusters on this thing, but uh, I'm going to wait uh, a little bit longer on that. Uh, I kind of want to get the control tower uh, quasi done. <sighs> Hopefully I will not find a way to kill myself on uh, this part of the project. After all, I don't think you need to be a brilliant engineer to understand that fire equals death.
Well, my friends, I am happy to announce that the control tower is almost complete. Uh, I had to weld a lot of things, but uh, this time I wanted to take my time because I think that this is uh, a permanent thingy, uh, unlike the anger which we are going to shape and uh, uh, cut a few blocks here and there. That's why there is only a skeleton. Uh, this is pretty much going to stay the way it is. Uh, of course, we are going to weld it further, uh, but I'm not going to lose uh, more time just uh, welding windows and stuff like that. I just wanted to be absolutely certain of the shape uh, of the uh, vessel. And uh, not the vessel, in this case, the shape of the control tower. And uh, that's why I went the extra mile. So, as you can see, this is quite bulky. Uh, once again, the Hulk will have to be uh, constantly parked very tightly, but uh, I think I can do that. Then we are greeted with this door that leads us... We can either go into this hangar over here, through there, or we can go upstairs into the control tower, through here. Uh, of course, that uh, this... <sighs> okay, game. <coughs> Let's pretend that didn't happen. Okay, so this is going to serve as the door for the airlock down there. That is going to be our airlock uh, that, that is going to allow us to access space without venting any atmosphere. And in here we are going to have our uh, control seat, of which I should have uh, somewhere in my hotbar. Here it is. I made sure to give us a uh, good looking view. Uh, so... Uh, Hmm, where should we put this one? I think I'm going to put it right there, so our view is not super blocked uh, by these pillars. These pillars need to be uh, made out of uh, full blocks, because these are the things holding the roof together. Uh, of course that they are also being supported by the windows, but I don't trust the windows too much. I don't like trusting the windows. So yeah, those uh, blocks are going to stay in there even though they look a little bit ugly. They are there for safety purposes. Cool, uh, now I still have to weld all the logistics uh, of this, th this thing before I completely close it off and... Whoa! Okay. And put a uh, gas vent somewhere around here to uh, pressurize this space, but uh, shape-wise it is almost complete. And I am pretty happy with the result. Well, my friends, I went beyond the Call of Duty. I thought to myself, well, if I am uh, going through all this effort, how about I complete the freaking uh, control tower? And uh, that I did. I Well, it's not 100% because this thing has not, are not yet complete, but uh, I, have, uh, um, I am al almost out of material, so this is not exactly essential to create an airtight uh, space. And there we go, see, we are now pressurizing both this chamber and and this chamber. So, time to do some testing. I built this button over here uh, to uh, create to uh, depressurize the airlock. Let's go over here. This is air vent 3. Okie dokie. So let's go over here, set up this button. Air vent 3, depressurize. On off. Right? So, first test, let's see. Let's close this door. Let's depressurize this chamber. There is nowhere for the oxygen to go, but that's fine. Now, second test. Let's see if this is an airtight by itself. We'll have to open vent a little bit. Come on. Yeah, thank you. Not exactly getting stuck in the best of moments, but okay. Cool, so this uh, room is independent of uh, the air vent, uh, which was what I wanted to test. Now I will have to vent a little bit of oxygen, but that's fine. It's all for testing purposes. Let's close this door and um, stop the depressurization effort. And there we go. I'm going to be honest, I'm really happy uh, with the results that we uh, add in this control tower. Um, Let's go outside, sure thing, whatever. Whoa, big lag spike. But uh, I think all the effort was totally worth it, guys. I think this control tower is looking extremely nice. Um, I kind of wanted to uh, create like a, a separate room from the entire... Uh, 
craft, right? Uh, make it look like it's uh, hanging on the side, and I think I was able to do that. And the arm that is securing the control room looks rather bulky, it's not thin at all, you know? Looks like it has some meat to it, so uh, I'm quite happy with the result. I'm sorry I'm being uh, redundant, but... Uh the, this thing alone took me uh, almost two hours and, uh, you know, I think it was two hours well spent. Now, guys, in the beginning of the episode I said that we were going to make this uh, space-worthy and create a fighter vessel. Yeah, I was over in my head, <laughs> like, <laughs> I had no idea how long I was going to take to build a, a simple thing like this. Uh, but uh, I don't think there is any problem with that. After all, like I said, this is going to take several episodes until it is ready. So if we tackle one uh, project at a time per episode, like for example, I'm not going to make any promises, but like for example, in the next episode, we do the anger, right? And we have the anger done by next episode, that would be nice. And then in the episode after that, we would uh, finish off the wings and then the industrial area. And by the time... Uh, oh, in, in like five or six episodes time this thing is uh, almost ready to go right and it's looking rather complete instead of just a flying skeleton um, but yeah like I said guys I have run out on materials almost completely I am using my reserves now just like yeah I have 4.4 the case of uh, iron and uh, let's take a look at the rest silicon how are we doing uh, we're still good on the silicon for now no problem there. And the nickel. Uh, how are we doing over there? 1k there, 3k's there, 4k's there. Okay, we are also good on the nickel. It's just the iron that is a problem. So I think I'm going to spend the rest of my time today gathering uh, a few resources so that future me is actually ready to go and tackle uh, the next project in this build. Well, my friends, soon I will have to go on another uh, asteroid hopping adventure because uh, the asteroids that I'm using uh, for my resources are getting quite depleted. I already went through the uh, Iron Slash 4 that we were going through last episode and now I moved towards that one over there, which has, like, at best two more mining trips. Uh, so, yeah, the uh, asteroid uh, resources, uh, the um, Iron... Uh, asteroid nodes are quite small. Uh, they don't have a lot of materials in it. So uh, I'm quite um, worried about our material situation because uh, when we started making this thing we had a lot, and I mean a lot of resources that we brought uh, not only from back home but from mining uh, random nodes that we found around the place. So now, in order for me to uh, get back to the place that I was, I probably will have to mine out two or three entire asteroids. And that... Uh, and that is no fun, because after that we are going to run out of uh, known nodes, and that is going to make me go on another uh, adventure trip. But uh, hopefully, by the time we are forced to do that, this thing will be space-worthy, and we'll be able to take our base with us, um, diminishing the time that we need to uh, take um, for mining, because uh, most of the time is spent on uh, the journey between uh, the base and the uh, node itself. But, um, well guys, I would like to continue uh, building this thing, but uh, everything that is nice must come to an end, and I'm pretty sure this episode is long enough already. So, uh, like I said, next episode we are going to continue uh, designing this thing, maybe we are going to focus on the anger. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what I... Uh, Came, come up with next. But uh, with all of this said, my friends, I hope that you have enjoyed this episode and that you are enjoying the series so far. If you are, please consider subscribing and help the channel grow. But in the meantime, this is the Base Manager signing out. Bye-bye!